Cool. So you are... Uh, John. John from Nokia is just going to talk us through uh, some of the openness of uh, the N9 platform. Right. Uh, uh. So this is very similar from what we will, will have known from the N900. But uh, we've updated the hardware. We're also updating the software. It ha is um, MIGO 1.2 API compatible. So it's, uh, we're calling it uh, MIGO 1.2 Harmony. So if you go to settings, just to show you uh, how we're trying to keep things open. When you go to settings, you can go into um, applications and users can change the installation settings to allow installations from non-store sources. So that means you can configure any repositories. So you can allow it. So it's just a matter at that point of, of going into the phone via a serial console emulator of some description. You, no, you just switch that open, and if, if you have a Debian package or if you have anything in an email or download, click to uh, install a repository. All that you don't need to do anything tricky. However, we also in here under um, sorry, go back. You go into security, developer mode. You can turn on developer mode. I don't know, uh, and it will basically, you know, fetch a couple of Debian files. And now you have the complete root. You have um, terminal mode. You have um, var various debugging utilities. And then with this, you can go and um, connect it to your PC via USB, and then just you know have the SDK on your PC and run it on the phone. Okay. And so, is uh, do you guys have like an SSH package that's installed on the phone by default, or was um, that one of the things? Through that developer grabs? mode. Yeah. So, yeah. so one of the things is obviously this is still a consumer product. I'd give this to my wife. She does not want terminal mode. Uh, you know, oh, can I? What if I delete root? What happens? We turn it off for a reason. Yes, yeah, sure. But if you know, then you can go and do this. Uh, we're still completely open. Um, we have an internal uh, project that's doing an IPv6 stack, and that's installable. If you really wanted to install your own uh, kernel, you could do that as well. Cool. Very cool. All right. Thank you very much.